Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to solve problems <coughs> that involve liquid volumes or masses. Okay? So let's read the problem on the top of this page. A restaurant serves ice tea from a large container that can hold 24 liters. Sadie will fill the container with the pictures of the tea shown below. Will Sadie have tea left after filling the container? All right. Can you see on those how many liters? How many liters does it say? Seven. On those little things, it says seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. So each of those are how much that you say? Seven. Okay. So let's write how many liters is in there. So on the first one we have. Oh, I do that every time. Seven liters, right? Okay. And then we have seven liters in this one. Yeah. Okay. So we have to be really good at measuring things. We have seven liters in this one too. Yeah. And do we have seven liters in this one? Yes. I guess they're by the measure of how much they weigh. Yeah. Okay. Since there are blank equal groups of blank liters, how many equal groups are there? Four. Yes, there are four equal groups. Good. There are four equal groups of how many liters? Seven. 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 There are four groups of seven liters because there are four pictures, and each of those pictures has seven in it, right? Yeah. So since there are four pictures with seven in them, we can multiply. We'll move that. Okay? Yes, we are multiplying. We are multiplying four times seven. All right, boys and girls, here comes in your multiplication that you need to know. What is four times Seven, everyone. Okay. Now, let's read the question again at the top. Will Sadie have, um, she has a container that can only hold 24 liters. Will she, will Sadie have tea left over? Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. yeah. The yes. has 24 liters. That's how much you'll okay. The only hold 24 liters. And These have pictures to have how much all together? 28. 28. 28. So you're going to have four liters left over. Yes. So circle the correct words to complete the sentence. Blank liters is greater than or less than 24 liters. What did we get for our answer? Okay, 28 liters, is that greater than or less than 24 liters? Greater than. Circle greater than is greater than. So Sadie will or will not have tea left over? Will. Will. Circle will. Okay, the next thing is we could use a bar model to solve. Let's read the next problem. That's Raul. The name is Raul. Yeah. Raul's fish tank contains 32 liters of water. He empties it with a bucket that holds 4 liters of water. How many times will Raul have to fill his bucket? All right, guys. We know the total needs to be 32, right? Yes. Because the fish tank is 32. But the bucket that he has only holds four. So right now, they have four liters and four liters, which how much is that? Eight liters. That's eight liters. So we need to keep adding four liters until we get to 32. Yes, Simon? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm ready to do it. Oh, you want to answer me? Okay. Hold on. Um, let's skip count and do this. So let's add another four liters, which ha would be how much? After eight, you're adding oh, four more. Twelve. Twelve. 
Okay, then add four more liters. How much would that be? Sixteen. No. Yeah, sixteen. Sixteen. And hopefully you guys can make it a little bit smaller because we're going to make more. Then we have four more liters, which would be how much? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay, now I'm going to make my bar graph bigger because I don't have any more room. Then I need a four more liters, which is how much? Twenty-eight? Yeah, twenty-eight. And that's still not thirty-two, so four more liters, which is how much? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. 32. So how many boxes, <coughs> or bars, I guess they want to call them, do we have, Hedman? Six. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. I have seven. I have yeah, eight. I have seven. I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, you have eleven. That's two, not three, right. Three, seven. Okay, we, we had to do our math wrong. Guys. Ice Kyle. Okay, four liters, and then another four liters is eight, right? Yeah. Another four liters is twelve. Another four liters is sixteen. Oh, that's where we did it. Right? Yeah, we did I, Yeah, you put the next one after sixteen was twenty-four. What's the next uh, after you four more after twenty or after sixteen is how much? Twenty. Twenty. And then four more after that would be twenty-four. And four more after that would be twenty-eight. So, yeah. so we yeah. need another bar. Four liters. And then that's 32. And that's 32. Yeah, that's now many, we have. Now how many bars do we have? Eight. 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 Now, what kind of problem did we use kind of to solve that? I mean, how would you have solved that a little bit? Like, what kind of, um, not property, word or, no, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Like, how would we solve that problem? Carter? Division? By division. You had the big number, right? 32. And then you would divide 32 by 4. Okay? And 32 divided by 4 would be 8. eight. eight. The rule will fill the bucket how many times? 8. 8 times. Alright, let's read this next problem. Jeff has a blue stick and a 20 gram mask on one side of the balance and gram masses on the other side. The gram balance is balanced. What is the mass of the blue stick? So step one is to place a blue stick in 20 gram mass piece on one side of the balance. We'll do that. Step two, what does it say? Place gram masses on the other side until the pans are balanced. So we're going to do that. All right, we put it in there. We put a 20, a 10, a 5, and a 1. And then our pan balance are very, are pretty much balanced. So now we're going to find the mass of the glue stick. Step three, read, read it. <coughs> to find the mass Do you know 
any multiplication that goes up to 432? No. Do you know any division that goes up to 432? No. Okay. Do you think that the math will make you figure out things that you don't know that's that high of a number? No. Yeah. Okay. So do you think that we will probably be doing multiplication or division? No. Okay. These are two big of numbers, guys, to do multiplication or division for third graders. Okay? Does that make sense? You have to be like okay. fourth graders or fifth graders. Yeah, maybe. All right, so let's keep reading. Okay, we have a bag of peas. That's 432 grams. Now let's read the next sentence. A bag of carrots has a mass of 263 grams. What is the total mass of both bags? How, what words in that question can help you figure out what Oh, operation. That's what they're called. What operation are you using? <laughs> what word? First, I want you to tell me what word in that question helps us. Everyone? Total. Okay. So, which one is total? Addition or subtraction? Subtracting. Addition. Addition. Well, there's also both, too. Which is also all right. That's what I was going to say. Both. Yeah. Because both is in. Oh. Okay. So you have total and both, and Which total both and both are both are an addition, addition words. Because when you're finding the total, you're finding something all together, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we are good. going to need to add these. So in your bar graph, you're going to write 432 grams for the peas, and you're going to write 263 grams for the carrots. And then you're going to write the, the problem down, the number sentence. How would I write the number sentence? Cooper? <laughs> All right. If you guys cannot do that in your head, I can't. Go ahead and find a place on your paper to stack and add. I can do it in my head. Yeah, me too. Then write your answer down. Oh, okay. You can check with us, those of us that have to write it down. Go ahead and keep going, Tubby. Good thing I didn't.